Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C-Man, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the C-Man's Cinema Sit-Down. Uh, if you've been following along recently, you know we've been catching up on trailers. Uh, we've been looking at a lot of them, six so far in the last two days. Uh, but I've also got a bunch of catch-up to do on the movie side. Uh, I've been watching a bunch of content um, just because work's been really mentally uh, like straining. I, I get home, and I'm just like, I don't want to talk. I don't really want to like do anything video-wise, but I just want to watch TV and movies, um, and I've had a bunch. Uh, we just uh, talked about The White Tiger, which is on Netflix. You can see that review right up there. Um, really, really dug that movie. Highly recommend it. Um, really interesting look at uh, the Indian caste system and different cultural aspects uh, that, that go on in areas of India. Really, really, really awesome movie. You should definitely check it out. But now we turn our attention to a Max original that uh, I just kind of stumbled across. You know, like I, was, I said, uh, when when work is beating me down, I love to just flip through and find things. And um, I was on HBO Max. This popped up in their originals category. I was like, ooh, Anne Hathaway and Chittawell Edgy for two people I really, really dig. Oh, there goes the hat. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, when you got all this hair, the hat does not stay on the way it used to. Um, but uh, Anne Hathaway, Chidwell Edgy of Four, two actors I really, really dig. Um, and they're in this movie where they're a couple that is broken up. They are about to like move out and, and go their separate ways when uh, England uh, puts down a mandatory lockdown because of COVID-19. Um, that forces them to kind of, you know, be stuck in the house together and kind of re-examine elements of their relationship. And when I read that synopsis, I was like, all right, that seems interesting. Let's see what the trailer is like. And then I'm watching the trailer, and all of a sudden, there is a diamond heist thrown into this uh, mix. And I was like, ooh, now I'm in. Let's throw this bad boy on. What are we talking about? Why don't you pull up a chair? Take a seat. We're getting ready to dive in, spoiler free, into Locked Down. Now, as I said, watching the trailer, I was in on Locked Down. I was like, okay, one, I, I like this idea of like a couple being forced to stay together because of lockdown and, and kind of reevaluating some of the things about their relationship. Uh, you know, in this realm, Chidwell Edgy of Four uh, seems to be the one that must have made the mistakes that led Anne Hathaway to break it off. And he's the one that's definitely struggling the most with losing his love. Uh, that is Anne Hathaway's character. Um, who is, I always forget to give them character names. Uh, Anne Hathaway uh, plays Linda, and Chidwell Edgy of Four plays Paxton. Um, so Paxton is the one that's really struggling uh, with letting this whole relationship go. And this is a movie that, like I said, when I watched the trailer, I was like, ooh, this looks really interesting. And, and that Diamond Heist element was the thing that, that hooked me, brought me into it. The Diamond Heist element is like one of like two things that really make this movie not work um i was hopeful it looked like it was gonna be entertaining it's listed as like a, a, a comedy romance thriller that's a combination that i'm usually here for the problem is, is this movie is just really uneven and uneven in ways that just don't benefit it in any way uh for one i don't think the movie has like that real world sense of the fact that like people are still living in quarantine and still locked down and, and some of the dark humor that this movie uh, makes in about those situations while not completely off just felt a little insensitive at times like as someone who pretty much is here all the time um living through one of these you know kind of lockdown quarantines i mean look we're not locked down we can go out uh i'm in connecticut but i pretty much only leave the house to go into the office and then come back because the whole covid thing has kind of shook me and i do think there are times where the dark humor doesn't work uh maybe it's humor that could work five ten years when we've all gone back to normal um but like in the moment it just doesn't feel like this movie recognizes the fact that it exists in the moment still um but at the same time there are elements that i, I kind of dig about the idea of a quarantine specifically with paxton's character uh he's very um you know like very emotionally connected you could say you know he, he loves poetry and these kind of big types of moments and one of the things that he does for his street is occasionally he'll go out at the top of his lungs he'll, he'll read a poem or something that he's found and you know some people hate it and other people kind of cheer and it's one of those things that as far as a quarantine and a lockdown go i thought the movie really did nail because it's one of those like 
yeah, when you are locked down, there's somebody outside, like everybody flocks to their windows and like, what's going on? Because you, you, when we were locked down, like anything that was going on, you were like, what? Anything other than looking at my walls and my TV, right? And the movie does has, have moments like that that work. But there are others that just don't quite feel like, I, I, like I said, like it knows that we're still in this massive pandemic. Now, the other thing that really does not help this movie is the, the, the jewel heist. Uh, it, it's one of these things where you're watching the movie and like I enjoyed the jewel heist stuff. Uh, some of my favorite moments of the movie come from that. But considering what the rest of the movie is and where most of the movie lives, it just felt like one too many storylines jammed in there and it didn't kind of mesh with everything else that was going on in the movie. There is also a third thing that does not make this movie work. And it's one of those things that I kind of mentioned when talking about Malcolm and Marie, how it had this kind of stage quality to it. Um, and at times felt a little Shakespearean, but totally worked for the setting and the mood and the type of film we were getting. Um, because it just played into wonderful performances uh, from John David Washington and Zendaya. And here is another movie that has this kind of Shakespearean quality to it and these specifically with Paxton these kind of verbose and just kind of overly Shakespearean type poems and things but like the delivery that both Chidwell, Edgy of Four and Anne Hathaway are making in the movie uh, has a stage presence to it and they talk really big almost like they're projecting to a room and some of their monologues really feel like it comes out of a Shakespearean type play and it's one of those things where like, you can mimic an idea that's kind of Shakespearean, but but keep it grounded in, like, you know, current times. And that stuff can work from, like, a stage play type style, much like Malcolm and Marie did work. Here, to have these two people speaking the way they do at times, and when they have these lengthy monologues with each other or alone, it doesn't work, because we're in the real world, and they are literally talking like Shakespearean characters, and it's just... The movie has so many different identities and vibes, and none of them mesh well with each other. And it's it's a it's a it's a tough one, unfortunately. Um, and, and it's one of those where like you, you kind of hope that it could have worked because there are moments, man. I, there's a, there's a stretch where Chidwell Edgy of Four's character um, is wrestling with a bunch of different things. You know, he used to be uh, an alcoholic and a drug addict and a motorcycle rider, and he's kind of dealing with getting rid of his motorcycle, and th there, there are elements to that that are fun to watch Chidwell, you know, kind of play in, but then there are other elements where, like, he's on the motorcycle and the, the garage door is closed and the motorcycle's on, and it's like this dark humor moment that really feels insensitive to people who are struggling with being alone all the time, and, like, what that means and how like suicide rates and mental health ha have all struggled, you know, during the pandemic and stuff like that that just feels uneven and for me makes the movie not work. That being said, Jitterwell Edgy of Four and Anne Hathaway do their best with what they're given. Um, they really do deliver on those big monologues um, and, and they play into all the things that the script uh, is calling for. And while I think Stephen Knight's script is a little off, um, I did like the way that Doug Lyman shot the movie, um, the way in which they kind of maneuver through the script. It, it worked. You know, I liked seeing them inside and then you know out and about and how they interact you know Chidwell goes to the store at one point like I, I like the way he he moved us around in the movie it's just like I said two it was like it almost feels like four or five people wrote this movie it was like oh this is a good idea and this is a good idea let's throw them all into this pot to get this and it just kind of misses the mark I, I wish it would have taken itself a little bit more seriously maybe taken the dark humor element away from it like I said Feels like maybe it's a little too soon for dark humor around COVID. Um, but to have really gotten to like into those characters as far as their psyche and their actual relationship and, and you know, kind of seen them work through that a little bit more and taken out the Shakespearean element to their delivery and, and to the style uh, in which they speak, I think it could have worked better. And then maybe if that had been the focus for like the first three, two, you know, first two thirds of the movie, when you get into that third act and the uh, the opportunity for the diamond heist arises, maybe that would have worked. And like I said, the thing I liked the most in the movie was the diamond heist sequence. Even though it feels 
the most out of place inside of the movie that we have. So Lockdown is a weird one for me. Uh, it was a movie that I wanted to like. It's a movie that has moments and, and elements that I liked, but on their own, when they're all put together, it just doesn't mesh, and it, it just felt like a waste uh, of real talent, because like I said, Chittowell, Edgy of Four, and Anne Hathaway are excellent actors, and they do as good a job as they can possibly do with the script that they were given. Um, it's just, it feels like a little bit of a mess. So there you go, man. Those are all my thoughts on Lockdown. One of the few movies I've watched recently that did not work for me. Um, and it, it's unfortunate because, like I said, you got two actors that, that I really do enjoy who really can bring it. Um, and, and they've tried. But, it, like I said, it was just a script that seems a little insensitive, tried to do too many things, and didn't know which lane to pick to stay in. And if it could have stayed in one lane most of the movie and focused on really fleshing that stuff out, then maybe you could have picked one of the two of the other lanes. Um, and brought that in a way that might have worked. But for me, not really. Um, so that's all I got to say. Now I want to know what you're thinking. Uh, have you had a chance to check out Lockdown on HBO Max? What would you think? Um, did it work for you? Uh, did you see Parallels to Malcolm and Marie, a movie that came out around the same time, right around Valentine's Day? Um, and, and what was? If you saw both, could, could it, it, did it make it easier to pinpoint like the differences and like how some things can work and how some things can't work? Um, did you think that it was insensitive at all uh, living through this quarantine and pandemic yourself? Um, you know, good, bad, indifferent, anything you're thinking about lockdown, whether you like the performances, what you think of the Shakespearean delivery and style, what was working in this one for you or not working? Anything you're thinking down below in the comments section. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come hang out with C-Man anytime we're talking movies, TV, trailer reactions. You know, you just want to be here, show a little love, support your old C-Man because uh, you enjoy what I do here uh, and you haven't yet. Come join C Maniac Nation by jumping over there, hitting that subscribe button, hit that little bell for those alerts. Um, if you don't feel like doing that, no biggie. Just hope you come on back, give it another go. But until then, for the C-Man's Cinema, sit down. I've been the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace! Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, you must be sticking around because you're looking for more content feature in this guy. Well, guess what? You're in the right place. You can check out more videos right here and right here. Uh, and if you have and you want to come join that C-Maniac Nation, you can hit that subscribe right over there.